Well, hello everybody. How are you doing today? Um, this is part two on uh, the two awesome scrapbook journals I've been working on. Um, this is the one I was covering for somebody else. And there was a centerpiece that I went ahead and covered and let it dry. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting this one together since it won't take that long. And we can finish up this project. There. Okay, and what I had done with these, I was worried about, you know, how to plug the holes or pop the holes to put them back together again. And what I did was I pulled out my my uh, my crocodile. And so that's what I'm going to do on this one. I've already set it for the other one, so. Do it with this one. And what I'm doing on the longer one is I'm just punching a bunch of holes side by side. And it gives me that. And I glued the whole thing, I didn't just glue the edges. All righty. Let's put this back behind me, and now what we're going to do is we're going to put this back together. Make sure, I believe that was the front, yeah, that's going to be the front. <clears throat> Okay, now I'm, um, it's been a couple days since I put this, pulled it apart, so let me see. All right, I see how we're going to do this. All right, stay. We're going to put these back together, but before we do... Um, it makes it look a little bit better to have the white sheets in the sleeves, but these are kind of old, so I'm hoping that it won't look, it won't show the age in the pockets as much. And the paper kind of gives the pockets a little bit more stability. Trying, I'm hoping that my camera's not going to go out of focus, so let's leave that there for a minute. Because all of the white, the camera just decides to freak the heck out. Let's go, and I'm too shy, so... Let me see if I have any extras. I don't know that I do. Wait, I'll just pull some out of mine. see. Okay. 
<clears throat> trying to leave some color in here, so. me I put two in there. I bet I did. No. But I know I pulled two. Ah, that's why. Okay. kind of glad I went ahead and covered this because this has got to go in here as almost a, I don't know, it's like a bridge between the two halves. So, except Ah, okay. Yeah, you can tell I have never done this before. Okay, we've got two, so... Let's put this through here. And I'm going to put it through there. Oh yeah, this is going to be difficult, I believe. So we may have to... I think I did that wrong, so let me move this over. There we go. I'll have to do both of these at the same time, it looks like. There. Okay. So let's line these up. Last one, and it's upside down. Let me make sure these are all right side up. Yeah. Okay. Wow, I do not know how they expect this to work. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. This one is going to go right there. Yeah, so it's not as easy as it looks sometimes. I mean, it just takes a little bit of wiggling. So you see how I got that there? I'm just going to use the screwdriver and screw that in. And I'll do the other one so you're not sitting here watching me struggle. And then we'll be, I'll be right back. Okay. And this part didn't glue in, so I'll have to tuck this. I don't want to cut it because then it frays. So I'm going to tuck that in and glue that, and then I'll pin it so it'll... Yeah, it's two of the finishing corners that I didn't get to. I really like this uh, Fabric Fusion I picked up as opposed to Fabricac. Um, it works just as strong but it's a little bit more uh, fluid. It's easier to use. It's not so um, thick and hard to spread. And you don't have to use as much, so that's also another good thing. There we go. Alrighty, so let me get a clip. Let me set this aside. Yes, I love binder clips for every reason. Okay. And then I've got this lower corner that needs a little bit of attention too. I see I didn't finish. I was just hoping I could get it all back together again. And I haven't even put the front on this or the back on the other, so... <clears throat> oh, see, it comes out a lot faster, and I'm not used to that, so I end up squirting too much. <sighs> and you don't need that much of this stuff. Okay, and let me get another clip. So this will stay down while it dries. There we go. Oh, excuse me. Oh, uh, I got to tell you something. I might have said this on another video sometime down, you know, in the past or whatever. But uh, I'll tell you a story. I was about 12 years old. And we were living up in uh, Romeo, Michigan. And I had gotten the hiccups. Something fierce. 
holy moly, it was bad. I mean, I think I hiccuped for probably two hours straight. And if you've ever hiccuped for that long, you know, you know, your gut hurts, your diaphragm hurts, your throat hurts, your back hurts, everything. And I was almost in tears. Well, I'm trying to do the dishes and hiccuping this whole time. We were in this uh, farmhouse and uh, so I'm washing and washing dishes and I'm looking out the back into the backyard and hiccuping and hiccuping. My dad slinks into the kitchen. Yes, I said slinks. Okay. Grabs me under the arms, scares the holy bejeebus out of me. Okay. And roars like a lion. Oh, yeah. I screamed. Dishes go one way. Washcloth goes the other way. I turned around. I think I peed down both legs. Ugh. Yeah. I turned around, sat down on the floor, and just bawled my eyes out. He scared me so bad. I was 12. Okay. Well, I'm considerably a lot older than that. This was many, many moons ago. And uh, to this day, if I get the hiccups, all I have to do is think about Dad. We got stationed overseas. And after I got married, and uh, I'd gotten hiccups, and it was there was like an eight or eight or nine hour time difference, and um, I got the hiccups, and they wouldn't stop. And I called my dad in the middle of the night, and he was back here stateside. And um, I was like, <laughs> Dad, he goes, what? Thank you. No problem. Click. And my hiccups stopped. So there will never be another doctor that will convince me that hiccups are anything other than psychological. Because that traumatized me. To the point, like I said, all I have to do is think about my dad when I get the hiccups and they're gone. They stop, literally. And I've had many, many people that did not believe me until they witnessed it. So it was, yeah, it was a trip. So we're going to let these corners dry. But... See, there's that third piece that you need. But that, and then what I'm going to do, one more thing. Sorry. I haven't decided if I'm going to use the brown or not. I might. Because when that closes, you know, I might use the brown. I might use some dark red. But I want to be able to make sure I cover up the edges, you know, the raw edges. And then I'll glue that down. And I will do the same to this side. And then this one will be done. So we're going to leave this for here. Let those dry. We're going to close. Yeah, I can't close it with the clips on. So we'll set it aside. Uh, now this is the one that I've been working on. You know, that's got a lot more in depth. I'm not happy. Um, that looks almost a little too, too dull for me. And I don't like the, the lighter colors in between. So what I'm going to do is, well, I stopped at Walmart, couldn't make it all the way out to Hobby Lobby. That's the closest thing we have unless I drive out of state. 
And this is a wax. It's from Waverly. It's called, it's an antique wax. I've never used it before. See if you see the, see what it is, if I can get it without the shine. Uh, maybe not. Okay, there it is, Waverly. It's wax. It's from Plaid. <sighs> but the directions on it say, okay, stir wax well, apply a thin layer of wax to project using a wax brush or a lint-free cloth. Immediately remove any excess wax, leaving the antique color on the surface recesses. So it's down in the grooves, right? Wait 24 hours before buffing. Use lint-free cloth to buff the surface. And then apply clear wax on top of project every 6 to 12 months or as needed. Okay, so that's if I'm using it on a, uh, you know, like a table or something. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work or not. So what I'm going to do... Uh, actually, I think I'm going to just... I'm going to open it up. And we'll see. Okay, I'm not going to open it that way. Like I said, I've never used it when I've... Sh it looks li liquidy. Is that the word? Um... Let me try. Yeah, I think that's that's what it is. So we're gonna leave that on the glass. Oh, I kind of like that. So if I did it that way. So let's try that. Let's see if that works. And I can fill in those light spots. Now this says lint-free. A napkin is not lint-free. I will tell you that. But I didn't, it just, this looked just too washed out for me. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to tuck in and clean or fill in. Yeah, see, I kind of like that. It gives it a little bit more depth. Um, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to do that, all right? So let's do this for a few more minutes so you kind of get the idea of what's going to happen. And you really, really do not need that much. What I may do is I may use a little bit on a like on a little dish or something so I don't end up tipping that over. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Just kind of getting that lightened watercolor look out of there. And I would have put a sealant over this anyway, so... Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. 
All right, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go through and fill in these light spots, and I will be right back. Okay? Let me hit pause here really quick. Well, hello. I am back. And sorry for the mess. I was looking for some different things to possibly add to this but this is what this is what it ended up being and I like this a little bit better it looks kind of choppy in the camera but up close it really does look like palette wood which is kind of cool you know and <clears throat> she also likes uh, sunflowers and I had these before but I didn't really like those because too much so I went to the store and I picked up a bunch of regular and then I also oh, I ran over it my chair stuck on it oh, also picked up a batch of little ones so I was thinking let's see I don't like that I'll have to cut that off because it's, you see that right there? In the sec no, I don't even have a groove in there. So I'll probably do maybe three. I don't know. But three looks about right. I'll set this aside. Um, oh, I need some of the leaves. They had other leaves there, but, um, oh, that's not the pair I want. Let's use these. I can't find my Tim Holtz scissors anywhere. It's driving me crazy. All right, so we'll pull a couple leaves off. Yeah, the weather's starting to get colder, which I like, but um, where I'm at, we don't get a very nice fall season. It goes from incredibly hot to maybe two or three days of, you know, beautiful weather, and then bam, it's cold. So that kind of sucked. So let's put this over here. Alright, so we got, I uh, probably cut way too many leaves. And we've got little bitty flowers, some white ones. So let's throw some of these off. Okay, and then underneath, kind of give it a little bit more, well, layers, you know, some depth. I thought. I don't know, you know, probably like maybe one or two up here. One in the middle, maybe. I don't know, maybe one or two down here. <clears throat> and I also picked up the, uh, the initials for her first last name. Her first last, that's so stupid. Her last name is an L. I wanted to find something a little bit more... Um, elegant, but I think that might work. Maybe put some of the white flowers over here with this. I don't know. I'll have to work on that. But that's what some of the, uh, you know, some of the things. But I know there's going to be sunflowers on it. So we'll put those off to the side. And then I got to thinking, she's... Her wedding was done in like burlap and lace and that's a pretty common thing so I thought to maybe lay a piece of uh, it's a very open weave lace either there or on that side no I kind of like it here you know 
either do that or find, let's see, I've got some lace here. Oh, that's an awful lot. That's a good piece. There we go. Set this aside for just a minute. Let's see if maybe that'll go around the outside. Now this is really um, antiqued and aged. I don't know if you can tell or not, but uh, the stitching on it has been yellowed and uh, I mean this lace right here is probably, I got this from my grandma, so it's probably a good 60, 60 years old, 50, 60 years old. And so, I mean, it's beautiful. That's just one piece. And this is, this is a lot bigger. So I don't know. Let's see. She's more minimalist, so let's go with this one. And we'll just add this to it. Let me cut a piece off. There. I'll put this other back. To like it that way. Oh, this is the fun part though, the creative part. But what I am going to do is I am going to pull this off. Where my scissors go. And I'm going to cut that. Now what that'll do when you do that is it'll pull these pieces apart. Right? So you have to keep that in mind when you're tearing apart silk flowers. <clears throat> there we go. Let's see if my glue gun's heated up yet. Yeah, it is a little bit. So that's all I do. Just throw a little bit of glue on there. It's set for a minute. And then, well, if it will set. And we'll do the same thing here. I'm going to pull this off. Let's throw those out. I don't think I pulled that off enough, but that's okay. I cut enough of it off. There we go. And we'll do the same with this. <clears throat> and what's also cool is um, there was two no, three different layers of petals. So you can rearrange those to make them look, you know, like turn this one a little bit more to make it off center from the top one. And it'll make your flower look a little bit more full. So let's see. There we go. And I'll cut that one off. And we'll throw the glue around there. And let that set. Okay, so what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to there. I don't have one of those glue gun helpers, but I got this little silicone spatula at the Dollar Tree for a buck. Actually, it came with two of them um, on a little ring. I used the ring in a journal, so. Uh, but it works just as well. You know, I think I looked at those glue gun helpers and they came with those little finger cots that go over your fingers that are always, well, I have fingernails, you know, so it's just, they were always really uncomfortable or too tight. So, well, I cut a little bit of extra, but that's okay. I decided to go straight down the middle. But I am going to, I think I'm going to put my sunflowers straight down the middle. I'm not going to try to bunch them up. And I'm not putting any glue in the center because it's such a wide weave that uh, when I glue the sunflowers down, it'll automatically, you know, secure the lace to the to this much, much more. So I'm going to trim this off. There we go. And we'll trim this one off. Good. So what do you think? And then we'll put three or let's see, what about one? with some white ones. And the L. Oh, I don't know. Let's try two sunflowers. A little offset right down here, get right there. I don't know. Okay, well, let me take some pictures of some some different arrangements. I'm going to send them to the person who asked me to do this and see what she likes, and then I will be right back. I'm going to pause you for just a minute. Okay, well, this is the design that she said she liked the best. So, <laughs> she also likes the second one that I did. But let's see. Okay. Yeah, but she said the L needs some more flair. She doesn't like how plain the L is. So, wonder if I do that. That gives it a little bit more. And it kind of brings out the lace from under here, but I don't know. Okay, 
So let me take a picture of this one. <clears throat> and I'll send it to her. Let's see what she thinks. I don't know. It's not quite a straight line, but it'll do in a pinch, right? There. That's going up and down, so we want this to kind of go up and down. Let's see if that's any better. And again. Huh. Apparently I can't cut a straight line to save my life. Let's try that. Well, for all intents and purposes, <clears throat> I don't want to glue anything down unless she tells me, you know, one way or the other, that's what she likes. And so while we're waiting, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to clean up some of this mess and be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have a winner. Um, I tried a bunch of different ways. She doesn't want the lace under the L, so we've got that one put aside. It was just scrap anyways. I tried with some, uh, you know, um, some wooden embellishments, and she likes, she likes this with the butterfly on the inside, but I'm thinking... But if you do that, you can't tell it's an L. So maybe. No, I don't know. I think we'll figure it out, right? But she kind of likes it like this. <clears throat> and we took one of the sunflowers out because it was just... It was too hard to get a balance with uh, with the L without just, you know, making it look completely tacky. And as it is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get another glue stick. <laughs> Out of all of that, and then I run out of glue. Okay. <clears throat> so let's. There we go. Oh, good golly. Alright, and we're going to put that one right there. And I'm also going to throw a little bit of glue under here to make sure, you know, it stays together. <clears throat> and if you end up with glue strings, you just take your heat gun after your after it's all done and very carefully go over your project and your um your glue strings will magically disappear. Okay, and I'm going to put that one right here, just like that. But I'm also going to reach under here and add a little bit of glue, and a little bit of glue. Okay. Alrighty, that is going to... 
be it for those two. Now, the interesting thing about uh, silk flowers is, <clears throat> now mind you, if this doesn't work, you can always use a different one, but I'm trying to find my green. Well, I hope it's green. If not, we're going to have a different, let's see, uh, put this down right here. I just want to darken the leaves up just a little bit. Not a whole lot, but just a little. Because these are just a little bit too bright for me. Uh, that looks almost blue, doesn't it? Alrighty, let's get the other one. There we go. We'll let those dry for just a minute. And pull that off. Okay. So while we're waiting for those to dry, we're going to go ahead and what I'm going to do, since it's going to be on fabric, okay, as I'm going to glue it, I'm going to put some uh, Fabri-Tac on it, or fabric glue. I'm going to do that. But at the same time, <clears throat> I'm also going to add some hot glue to help secure it for now while I'm still working on it. There we go. Now I did take um, some rich cocoa from Memento, a stamp pad, and I inked some of the edges on this thing. It was just a little too bland for me. And that's what she wants, so this is what she's going to get. something heavy to sit on that for a minute and hold that down so we're gonna not quite heavy enough but it'll do so now we're going to add we're going to add these see they're a little bit darker I like that better I'm going to tuck this right under here and then pull these leaves out on top of them just like that now even though I've only got two sunflowers something about the laws of three I should probably pull out a couple of extra glue sticks I only have the small ones they're just cheaper that way. And I'll put a dot. That's what I normally do. And throw it in there and hold it. All right. But it does kind of balance it out a little bit better. And where's my other one? Right there. <clears throat> Probably. 
Hopefully, yeah, I'll do that off here to the side. Now on the backs of these little flowers, you see how they've got those little stems, just like I cut the stems off of the sunflowers themselves. That's not long enough. Let me get this. If I can get under there. Doing it that way it takes out some of the bulk and it helps your flowers to lay flatter. But again, you need to make sure that your flowers aren't going to fall apart. Uh, that's there. See, it doesn't have to be sticking out in your face, but when you've got lopsided flowers, because they never, I mean, unless you spend a thousand dollars in silk flowers, and you can always just glue your petals in place. And sometimes you don't need to <clears throat> if you're just tucking it in. I think I'm just going to tuck that one. And for me, I'm not afraid of the glue. I'd rather there be enough to hold it. And then there'd be not enough. Okay. going to do and see I like that right there give it a little bit of oomph in there because it's kind of plain Okay, <clears throat> and what do you think? Because I'm pretty sure that is done. Tooly, tooly done. And the inside is held up with a glue string. <laughs> Okay, so that's that one. Give me just a minute and I will grab the other one and we will be able to finish this up lickety split. Okay, we've got the other one done. 
Now I'm going to just do an inside page here. <clears throat> Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape as well as glue. Tape so that I know I've got it on the very, very edges. And it won't stick on fabric very well anyway. But it will hold it long enough for the glue to set up. And that was it for that roll. Perfect. So, let me pull this. And this will also help. I don't like using wet glue on paper in a, in a spot this big, you know, to be honest. Because I don't like the, the glue lines that, that it tends to leave. I'll bet spray adhesive would work, but you'd need a pretty good one. So what I'm going to do is there we go there kind of overshot it on that one so I just folded it back over on itself Oops. Yeah. I probably should have used my bone folder on the tape before I started peeling it, but you know, hey, it's going to be glued anyway. <clears throat> but, let's see. There we go. This is uh, from a decent, not a heavyweight cardstock, but it's not, it's not like copy paper cardstock. And it is cardstock, it's not paper, so, all right, let's do, tacky glue is too thick, I really liked this Fabri-Tac. So since I'm going to have to use it on the corners and the edges anyway, let's see how it works. I'm not putting it on really thick because <clears throat> I don't want those. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm recording, so hold on. I'm recording. Hold on. I shouldn't do that on top of the actual book itself, but you know, hey, I can wipe it off. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. so I can wipe my hands off. <clears throat> and what I'm going to 
going to do also is I'm going to use my brayer. Whoa. That worked. It got all the excess glue. some old file folders that I can use. Okay. Now I'm using these so I don't put a crimp in my paper. It's going to help the edges stay down. Oh yeah, can you tell I like my binder clips? Now Fabri-Tac, or fabric glue the original stuff. Um, it takes anywhere from 4 to 24 hours to totally set up. There we go for that one. Set that aside and we will. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I think I put one of the pages in upside down. Oh, okay, well, I'll have to fix that. Do the same on this side. <clears throat> it might have been easier to um, put this on when it was still off. But at the same time, What is it? The same one. Alrighty. Let me see. Nope. This isn't the same one. Okay, one second. Let me go grab the other. I'm oh, sorry about that. My dad made cookies. <laughs> He's trying to tell me I made cookies for you. Now this is the right one. You can tell by the thickness and then there's a pattern in here, almost like a linen weave. So we're going to do relatively the same thing. on the back side. And all this is really doing is just covering up your rough edges. If you don't mind the rough edges, this is one step you just don't have to do. You don't have to do any of the steps. 
<clears throat> because art is subjective. That means I might like Monet and you like Picasso. Oops. Same with music. I might like classical and you like country or vice versa. I'm rather an eclectic type of music listener. I listen to all kinds. There's some I don't care for. But, and I won't. I'll turn the channel in a heartbeat. But I like all kinds of music. Um, uh, from all different types, like Billie Holiday and Nina Simone, old blues women. I also like Muddy Waters and B.B. King, Johnny Coltrane. But I grew up in Motown, so I also like Motown. And I like uh, 60s, 70s, and 80s rock. I like some of the newer pop, not the new, new pop. But I love classical. Mostly piano, instrumentals, don't care for opera. There we go. That was a lot quicker. And I lost the lid, but I'll find it in a minute. Okay. You know, so... One of the things I always told my children is don't limit yourself. Because if you limit yourself, you'll never grow. Intellectually, you'll never grow. Mentally, emotionally, you know, spiritually. Because it's my belief that if you limit yourself, your brain stays small. Your mindset stays limited. And you'll never experience new things. Alrighty. Okay, wipe that up. Let me get my brayer. I'm sorry if my camera goes wonky. There we go. Uh, grab a couple more. Uh, Manila folders. Yeah, I went did a spring clean or fall clean. That's usually when I like to do mine. Just clean out all the crap before winter sets in. And uh, going through some old medical records and some old court paperwork I had, and you know, getting rid of things that were. They say for audit purposes, you keep everything for, you know, they can go back as far as 10 years. So I went through and just did a big spring clean in my file cabinet, so to speak. And my shredder isn't big enough to handle 
you know, the volume that I had. So uh, my grandson and his friend came over last weekend and we had a bonfire. <laughs> And uh, I had kind of fun. Had a lot of fun, you know, getting rid of stuff. That one's a little too small. Let's see if I have any other birds. I do. <clears throat> and it was. It was a lot of fun. Standing on opposite sides of the, the fire pit. We have this. Uh, concrete one that was out there. Get the other one in here. And making sure that, you know, the papers, because you can't throw in a whole bunch of papers stacked on top of each other because the middle won't burn. So we're all standing there, crumbling them up, throwing them at each other, seeing who's going to miss the pit. And anyways, we had a lot of fun. And got rid of a bunch of old personal stuff that nobody really needs, you know. I mean, nothing criminal or nothing like that. Just nobody's business. So instead of shredding it or throwing it away, we went ahead and took it out to the burn pile. And had fun while we were doing it. Although we did have to go raid the neighbor's brush pile because we were running out of uh, sustainable fire. Because the paper was burning so fast. So we're like, hey, can we have some of your sticks? He's like, yeah, that way I don't have to try and haul it off. So, but we had fun. That's all that matters. Is having fun. Well, I mean, in a good way. Not that being the only thing that matters in life. I guess that would be kind of silly. Alrighty. Let me see. Here we go. Oh, good grief. I can't close it yet because of the, the clips. But... On another note, okay, focus. There we go. On another note, minus the binder clip. Uh, we've got a second notebook. Then. So that's two scrapbooks, two different ways. One, well, one of them is a repurpose. So, you know, didn't have to throw it out. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Thank you for joining me. And, uh, Remember, always find the humor in life, because if you don't, life sucks. Trust me, it really does. Um, have a great day, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.